So, we now have the basic mechanism and the basic machine. We have a hinge that we can power from a distance, from far away, by another, what's called the control syringe, that's controlling the motion. The next bit is really where you get to be creative and you can decide a little bit what you'd like your machine to do and how you'd like to support it to do it. So for example, one thing we could do is we could extend this arm so that we've got a much larger, let me, uh, so masking tape is definitely your friend. You're going to then have a much larger movement. I'll show you in a second what I mean. It may be obvious or it may not. So if I show you side on, if you just look at the end here, when I did it in and out, I had a motion that distance from here to about here. If you look at this end, it travels much further, much, much further. So I've really extended the reach with the same mechanism. I can really extend the reach. I'm going to fiddle a bit more. I'm just going to, yeah, that's going to make it more. Now you can see that it's a little bit unsteady on its feet, isn't it? Let's be honest, it's wibbling around. This tubing is not great. So what I'm also going to do is put on what are called outriggers, things to add stability at the bottom. So again, you can do, this is again completely up to you, how many outriggers you add, where you add them. This is completely up to you. I'm just going to stabilise that in two places. And on the other, ooh, this tape's a little bit old. On the other side, we'll do the same. So I'll put this one here. And this one here. Ooh, I've got the longest piece of tape in the world here. I don't think I need all of those. Let's save some of that in case I need it in a minute. And the other thing I thought I might do to make it more stable, yeah. See, that's immediately made it more stable because I'm able to put the tube there and I might just use this, since I've got this bit of extra tape to hand, maybe I'll just stick that on there. Oh, there we're talking, look at that. Okay, it's still wobbly. Could you please stop being so wobbly? Let's have a look. Uh, I think it's there. I think what I... I just need to improve the stability there. I might have a play with that with a bit more tape in a minute, or maybe take that tape off and redo it and see if I can get that a bit more stable. But that's some, a troubleshooting thing I can do later. So now I've got a really stable machine with an arm that goes up and down. And I can have a play again. I think I might... You can fiddle and... You're going to need to fiddle and play. Yours will be different to mine because you've stuck things in slightly different places. This is where you really get to make your machine do what you want. So there's the basic mechanism. And what you choose to use it, mine is very wonky. <laughs> Look at that, wonky wonky. Hey ho, I will play with it a bit more and see what I can do. What you now can choose what you can do, what you can now do is choose what your machine will do. So there's various options. You could attach some string or some pipe cleaner with a little bucket. And it could be a crane. So you could lower the bucket to the ground, load some things into the bucket and lift them up. It's a simple crane. You could similarly create a launcher. We could make a little, like this one, like my demo here. Let me show you on the demo. You can create a little basket at the end here. And you can then pop something in there. Let me just see, I think I've got a handy, yeah, here we go, a handy cork. This will fit my cork. So that, oops, put my cork in and I can launch it. You'll be able to see that much better at the demo there. So that's a couple of options. You could make a launcher, you could make a crane, you can add more outriggers. If you wanted to, you could choose to attach your control syringe to the machine here so that it's much closer, it's attached to the machine, it's part of the machine or you can keep it separate if you want to be able to operate it from a little distance. It's completely up to you. I think what's happened is 
There we go. As I've pulled that to take that, I think I've been a bit enthusiastic there. That looks better. As I've pulled on this, it's pulled this so it's winky wonky. It's still pretty winky wonky. I can live with that. And that's the end of your demo. I hope it's all made sense and I would love to see some photos and some videos of it in action in the Facebook group. Thanks very much.